Number twenty nine in our uh, in our weekly rankings. We are well past the midway point now. Um, is there anybody that wants to kick us off this week? Uh, how about Mark? Mark, good job, Mark. There we go. What a terrible top three well, you picked. Mark. I'll make I a mean... web bottom too. How do you like that? <laughs> Mandy Rose. So, Mark, the... what is what is Mark? What what is your? F... <laughs> Never mind. Just move on. <laughs> Just moving on. Anybody want to go next? For the audio only listeners, Mark had uh, Mandy Rose, the inspiration, in Jordan Grace as his top three. Mark, if you could make Mandy Rose, how would you make her? I I don't. <laughs> It's the same fucking thing you've been it's playing. It's the goddamn sound clip, Jim. Oh. I'd make it wet bottom, too. Jeez. I like that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> fucking unreal. Just let me do me now, because now I'm upset. <laughs> Sorry you're upset. <laughs> Moose. He's the new TNA champion, but they don't call it TNA anymore. It's Impact. He cashed in on Josh Alexander. That's what. Uh, that's what Matt said, at least. He did, yes. So that's how I knew that result. Mandy Rose, she's the new NXT Women's Champion. I actually watched that show, Fire and Desire or whatever. That's no longer a thing. Nope, she's with was... uh, Toxic Attraction because I pay attention. So, also... so you actually watched that match and thought that match deserved to have her in your top three. I think an NXT Women's Championship – Thank you. Yeah, Toys gets it again. He, he gets it. Um, now we found Ryan's burner account. Got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there it is. What's up, Devin? Welcome oh, back, didn't buddy. know you left, Devin, but thanks for letting us know. <laughs> and I'm not done yet. Put my thing back up. Don't put Devin's comments up when I'm talking. Um, <laughs> I think an NXT Women's Champion is better than a uh, – is greater than an Impact Women's Champion, but a Moose Championship is a World Championship, and that should be number one. So I did this on a weighted scale of – the weight of the championships. Um, I think the II inspiration or the in inspiration or whatever you want to call them. The two um, inspiration. The two inspirations. Um, debuting and winning the TNA Women's Championship is greater than Toxic Attraction. They ended up number trace on my list. The inspiration. Um, Jessica McKay and the other one. I can't, I don't remember their names now. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> they left the WWE. They're dead to Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, so my, Mike wishes that Moose would not have successfully. Correct, correct. Yeah, sure. Um, you know, but I feel like that that puts a burner under Josh Alexander and the chase is what's going to sell tickets or make Matt continue to watch. I don't fucking know, but that's why I, I think Moose. Do Moose... Sell, like, do they sell tickets now? Moose. <laughs> Moose, I don't know what to tell you. That's what he does. He also signs autographs and fucking with, big with a pen. ballpoint pen. Yeah. Right, get out of here. Ridiculous. He doesn't like sharpies. I have a moose in a sharpie, Ridiculous. actually. I thought of just like tracing over his signature. In, in a, I have them like in my signature book, back to back. The first one in pen. The Crumbled second one, one in pen. Because the second <laughs> one in. Uh, <laughs> like when you sign an autograph on like a photo in pen, you're not even like su you're like carving it into you're just carving it. Photo. Right. Like correct. Right. Really nice fellow. I feel like I got that at that hybrid show that he just showed up but didn't wrestle on and stood over in the corner by the kitchen. So like a lot of I don't know if you shows? remember that. I don't uh... You got the Sharpie one at that one? No, the big pen one. I got the big pen one at LCW, KPW, whatever yeah, they were going by at the yeah, moment. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I didn't. Maybe I did get the big one because I maybe I forgot I had one, or I was just so upset about the big pen I bought another one. That's why because I had a marker and I said you can use this marker and he's like, no, no, I don't like just sharpies. <laughs> said fuck your pen and go fuck yourself. I think is what he said. I don't he know did say that. 
My, also, it took like, me the longest leaving. time to get a to get a Dalton Castle autograph because he wrestled once at LCW he and did. brought absolutely zero merchandise. No merchandise. He brought like willing, three shirts. But was and they were all like extra small. <laughs> um but was willing to sign somebody else's Veda Scott's eight, Veda Scott. He was gonna sign a Veda Scott eight by ten as <laughs> Dalton Cast. It was it I couldn't believe it. I finally bought one, but uh that that hurt me as well. But yeah, so the inspiration uh wrestles now for TNA Impact at the Impact Zone. And uh they're your new tag team ladies champions. There was a lot of new champions this week, so uh a lot of choices to be made. There were. I, and I guess Mark, next. I guess Mark put the lady uh Jordan Grace up there because she's the new like internet champion or something. Digital digital, digital media. It was probably media. just because of that picture that she took. Probably that also so might have been the picture. Fine. I mean, if that's how you're picking, I've certainly made questionable picks. I mean, it's better than just copying all of our work. <laughs> I mean, he basically did that with the yeah, other two. Basically. Yeah. What was what was Mark's other two? Uh, uh, it was an all women one, right? Mandy, yeah, and Mandy and the Insiders. Now he did he did watch because we were talking about this at uh, last night when I was talking to him. Um, Where were you talking to him last night? Oh, what, you were talking to Mark last night? Really? Where yeah, were you we, at? Hmm. Hmm. I thought he invited everybody. Well, you well, thought wrong. You thought wrong. Not only did he invite me, he invited a fellow La Piazza trivia member from my old team out with me. So he's calling in ringers, but not his friends. I mean, total strangers. Unreal. In which the very last minute, as we're Wait, walking out of yeah. the bar... They realized they graduated high school together. <laughs> it took them all effing night to realize that they graduated high school in 1992, Lancaster Catholic. And, and they and have been like long time estranged friends or whatever. And then I had to stand there for 15 fucking minutes while they reminisced just trying to go home. This no, is why. Kidding. There's things called Uber and Lyft. <laughs> I I was like, I drove. I should have just left. You're right. That, that was on me for not leaving. Mark could have given his long lost friend a ride home. I think Mark just walks. It's in oh, E Town, and he just true. meanders the streets of E Town until he finds where it's he lives. Isn't like Hottenstein Estates on that like palladial rolling hill that's just outside of? A... Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really not, not far. far. He's like, it's like two minutes. He walks all the time, but really good food. You guys should come out one night. I did. I went out the window. Oh, you were there. You were there. Forgot yeah. all about it, apparently. Yeah. Horror trivia. I dragged that team to the Disney trivia finish line and got no thanks. Well, you got used, Matt. You got used. <laughs> Dragged Jim, I, bet, I bet you would have been a lot of help, Jim, in horror trivia. I mean, I probably wouldn't have been, but I would have at least liked to have been invited. You know, that that's the part. That you know who might good. have been a big help in that? Me. You know who didn't need it because we came in first? Us. Wow. It's fair. Jesus. Real big to say when there's only one per one team that's doing trivia. <laughs> yeah, when you're calling in ringers, like Oh, I Eric mean, has no clue about horror. Eric doesn't want Eric watches as much horror as you did. He was yeah, no so ringer team, at all. So your How team many? it was you, Eric, Mark, Wes Craven, John, John Carpenter. <laughs> John Carpenter. Yes, and and actual Jason Voorhees. Absurd. And I, I, Mark's we were gonna, daughter. We, we were going to get Kane Hodder, but he was too busy hanging out with Larry and Raps. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> uh, oh Tim, man, Tim or Matt, do you guys want to go? I can go. go ahead, the Matt. All right. So I, <laughs> my number one, I had Moose uh, for the same reason. Ryan listed winning the Impact World Championship. Uh, my number two was Okada, uh, one GM G1 Climax, um, <laughs> and Jim refused to let me use it last week, <laughs> so I figured I would put I it mean, in this week. Rules is rules. I, I think feel like there was someone on WWE Jim rules, really, really WWE wanted WWE to Tag make match. it. That's all we are. Jim really wanted to make it onto the top three or four last week. So he was like, no, no, we, we have to stick with the other people. Uh, and then in third place, 
the two spiration for their tag title win. Look, I'm not an AEW referee. I actually enforce rules around here. Is so. that <laughs> so a shot at Bryce? Well, I mean, he's always right, a know, former he's, guest I mean, of the show. Does just, tons of great things in our community, Jim. You're a bad person. <laughs> I mean, we're not we're not wrong. He's just I mean, he's always trying to get right there in the camera. Show. That's true. He does insert himself. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's a great point, Tim. You should make that again. Tim, you're uh yeah. Tim, we can't hear you, guy. Yeah, because I'm I'm just muted and disgusted at whether or not this is actual sarcasm or if this is just a bad take. It's definitely sarcasm. Wait, okay, I just who's making a bad take? Big Jim again. <laughs> I was being I was being funny. Okay. Or okay, at least attempting to. Ha 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 ha. Got it. Tim, you want to go? <laughs> I would love to go now that my mic is on. Um, so um, I am going to take King Xavier Woods because everyone forgot that we have a new King of the Ring, apparently, except for No, we didn't Xavier. forget. Uh, you should have because uh, how people voted for Mandy Rose, that uh, nothing uh, happened in Not arguing. Champion. Not arguing that. <laughs> uh-huh. but okay, cool. Didn't oh, even make sorry for everything I said. Um, yeah, King Xavier Woods at three. Uh, the Inspiration, uh, which is Jessica McKay and Cassie Lee. Uh, the new Impact Knockouts Tag Team Champions. And then Katsujika Okada, number one, uh, winning the G1 Climax. And for also bringing back into the eyeballs of the wrestling world that gorgeous New Japan uh, IWGP Heavyweight Championship. Um, after winning the tournament. So, uh, Okada won Inspiration 2, get it? And uh, Xavier Woods, the king. I, see, I get it. Get it, too. Yeah. Two Good. Inspiration. That's how you would do a joke. <laughs> how about you, Big Jim? What are your picks? Uh, I also did not forget that we have a new king of the ring. Uh, and yet you still put him underneath nothing happening, Mandy Rose. Got it. Yeah. Nothing. Okay, how would you why why are you so salty? I don't understand. I feel like most that people match went in sucked. First of all. Yeah. Match not great. But <laughs> I'm not saying it was a great match. The fact that Mandy but, Rose but she won a championship. Is a okay. champion. not a fucking... She won the NXT 2.0 Women's Championship. <laughs> and Xavier Woods won the, the king, king of the ring of the WWE. That means nothing. It means and he everything. fucking you called his shot months ago. Points, yeah. Well, Mandy it Rose didn't even know what hair color she wanted to be two months before ago. Before <laughs> Bret Hart won. <laughs> um, <laughs> our king of the ring. All I'm saying is if Xavier Wood gets a stroke, you know why. Can you just get a stroke or have a stroke? Whatever. Stroke. I don't know. He received, received, received a stroke. You receive it? Is that what it is? I'm going yeah, to re- give you this stroke. Um, Slap uh, nuts. I'm not a doctor. I don't, uh, but I don't think that's how that works. Um, my number two is the Tune Spiration. And uh, my number one is the new NXT Women's Champion, Mandy Rose. How to order a stroke. <laughs> not for sale you just get one you just get one got it. oh so it's like you open a bank account and you get a free stroke is that what it is correct correct you get like you get a bag of toaster, stroke toaster ovens See, like... scotty gets it yeah Don't. scott gets it as, as also, much as Eva Marie, sure. Is today is today just a sarcasm day? Am I Drax Destroyer now? <laughs> Do I not get does everything go over my head? Or am I the, much uh, too fast to let that happen? Don't make me I, go get the wheel of impressions for Halloween. I I would rather the wheel of impressions at this point than spin the wheel, make a deal. Uh Mandy Rose unfortunately takes top honors this week at 13 points. Just- uh, Throw Je- out the wrestler of the week. For the rest of McKay. <laughs> Jessica McKay and Cassie Lee almost took first place honors, yet never received a first place vote. Uh, Moose, who probably has just as much reason to not be on the list as Mandy Rose, is third with 10 points. And Okada, 
for winning the G1, probably the most coveted tournament in all of wrestling history, uh, at fourth. More coveted than the King of the Ring tournament? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Get out of here. Yes. Unbelievable. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. I hope it's someone good. Where we got? Uh, we got Bret Hart. Perfect. Fucking shit. <laughs> oh, that's really great. I'd love to do this one. But do it with a stroke face. No, I'm not going to do that. I have to do JR later. <laughs> <laughs> you just get the tape and you just kind of tape your half his face down. Is that... Not going to do that. I have a little more honor than that. I'm Brett, Hill, I'm Brett Hart. <laughs> Brett uh, would be for Mandy Rose. He gets it. No, she's not a very jam up wrestler. She actually just hurt. She hurts people. I never hurt people in the ring. Not once ever. But you you got hurt and ended your career. Okay, Goldberg so gives out I'll strokes. Come back, so. I'll come back to go. I'll come back to Bret Hart's impression. But do yourself a favor and actually watch the match that Bret Hart gets concussed in with Goldberg. It's not the kick that does him in. Goldberg, I just watched it again. Goldberg takes Bret Hart's lunch. Two times before the kick. The kick was just like the piece that is his thoughts on top of the CTE that was coming. And that's what <laughs> happened. That's why my head hurts a lot. Brett, your your thoughts on when that fan went into the ring at the uh the Hall of Fame. Oh, that was a great time. I love seeing my friend uh uh I think his name now is Cash Wheeler. We call him the we call him the hitman now because he really put the number on that guy. It was so great watching him get carried out in a headlock, and then all of a sudden, Cash Wheeler goes pacow and punches su sucker punches the guy. He goes pacow. Pacow. Yeah, pacow. It's a word we use in Canada. Um, did Brett or Tim read the the standings for week twenty nine? I think I think Tim did. He okay. did. He he had a lot of great things to say about Moose. <laughs> I mean, you probably like Moose being from Canada, right? I can see Moose from my porch. <laughs> <laughs> um, did anybody cover where we're at for the year? Not yet. That the screen hadn't come up yet. So. All right, so I wasn't sure. God damn it! I fucked up the totals again. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Bianca Belair is supposed to have 14 points. I promise I did the recounting. I promise I can type. But everything else is exactly correct. Nothing new has changed. Uh, Roman Reigns still the head of the table, the head of my heart. Uh, Kenny Omega at two, Big E at three. Uh, some guy named Matt Cardona at four. Uh, CM Punk, that's a fantastic professional wrestler. He's uh, tied for fifth with another fantastic professional wrestler, Brian Danielson. And then... Carrying cross who I must be a typo. We'll have to figure that out later. Uh, that runs out our top 10 guys. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, thanks Brett. Um, I, I have the, I can see a counter of how many people are, are watching the show. Um, so if you are watching with us live, um, anytime that counter gets to 10 or more, um, I, I will, I will bust out the wheel again. So make sure you're sharing this. So I have a question. I have a question really quick before we continue on to the next yeah. thing. Yes, Brett. So do I ha does Brett have to stay channeled uh until the next No, I mean Brett can stay or go. Uh okay, cuz I feel like I feel like the 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 link to the spirit realm is going away and and I'm going to have to go back home to Calgary, Alberta, Canada. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, you you okay. can you can go home if if you'd like, Brett. I like to. I like I'm very home. tired. It is late. It is late for you. Not as late oh. as it used to be on this show, but it is still late for you. At, at, it's late at your it's, age. It's putting time for me. Um, yeah. Adam Pierce's split pants were like just outside of my of my top three. It was like his split pants and Brock Lesnar were just just outside. Bret Hart is a huge fan of accidental inner thigh, so that was a really good. That was a really good time. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know that. I. As a Bret Hart fan, I probably should have probably should have known that. You should have done your homework before the podcast, and you should have asked I, me. I should have. That is uh, that is my bad. 
Scotty also asks, thoughts on Pete and not being happy with the MV- MLB calling it a bullpen. They want it called Arm Barn. Yeah, I know. I saw that story. Peter sucks. I, I don't know. I think I'm, Arm Barn is great. That's fantastic. I mean, Arm Barn is kind of funny. Why are they we talking about Arm Bars? Arm barn. No, no, Brett, not Arm Bar. Arm Barn. Like a, like a barn? I think I bought my last couch at the Arm Barn. <laughs> That sounds about right. Uh, but that does it for week 29 of uh, our Wrestler of the Week. Since John Moxley and Cesaro, way before Gargano, there was Savage and Roddy and Saturdays on NBC. These five guys on Facebook are gonna take a hard look. Freak on Thursday brings to you the Wrestler, Wrestler, Wrestler on the Week.